Good morning, good morning, guys. This is my view this morning. This is my view. How beautiful is this place, guys? I also love that I haven't seen a single human being since I got here, which makes me absolutely happy. Christmas trees in real time, what do you mean? What do you even mean? This is how it looks. I'm on the balcony. This is how it looks from up here. We're going to head out for brunch, but I first want to show you guys what I'm wearing. Then we're going to step out. I'm wearing this dress from Legit. Got it from Legit with these earrings that I got from my online store. And the perfume of the day is this perfume. Let me focus. Okay, I don't think it wants to focus. There we go. It's a travel size Gaultier Divine. I think it's Gaultier. Is that how they pronounce it? Your son, now this pronouncing thing is, is a lot. That one. That's what I'm wearing. Oh, it smells so nice. My husband got it for me for Christmas. It smells so good. That's what I'm going to be wearing. And then we are going to head out. I'm actually still wearing my husband's slides. This wouldn't be such a bad idea, actually. Hmm. Better think about it. Jump into the car on a Friday night. I want to drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town. I've never seen a sky so blue. to be yours just made some quick breakfast um I'm, i have muffins from woolies i also have this marble tea cake from woolies and we got grapes strawberries cereal bars and yogurt and then we're also going to have some juice and then water this is a lot of food the reason why i didn't open this is because i didn't want to then the risk of us not eating it so if we can't eat it today we'll definitely have it tomorrow i'm just going to take these outside and yeah we're going to eat
Hey guys, hope you guys are good. It is day three of our holiday and we are at the Tanin Lion and Predator Park. Basically, this is where they tame all the lions, tigers, cats, all the likes. And it is fun walking around here because everything is like in enclosed um, areas. But I'm still scared because I'm definitely not an animal person. I'm doing it for my husband. But generally, I really don't want to play with these things. I know I'm not right with Jesus. Like, we're not right, right, right. And I'm not trying to die, so uh, I don't play like that. But yeah, this is how it looks. I'll show you guys some more lions and tigers and I think birds, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, let's do this. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide you 
dry Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here? Hi, my name is Garissa. So welcome to Nuka River Retreat. So this is our reception area. And then we welcome you and then we have a set and then we offer you a uh, nice uh, rainbows and new tea. And then there's our restroom if you need to use that. So after when we're done here, and then we're going to go through to the room therapy. Uh, it's right through this way. Right, so we've got two rooms. So this is one of them. So this is one of the rooms. Mm -hmm. So the other one is, is also similar to this one. Mm -hmm. All right. So then that's when you enter and then you change. Mm -hmm. um, and then you take off your clothes and then you just we start with the treatment. Okay. Okay. And then this side. It's our shower. Ooh. You can use it after when you're done with the oh, treatment. You can go through. Okay. This is how it looks. Yes. I'm definitely going to shower for that. <laughs> okay. Right. So the second room is similar to the first, the first one. one. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to another day of our family vacation. It's been an absolutely amazing ride. I've been enjoying myself. I was telling my husband the other day that if God blesses us with enough money to travel frequently, I don't want to just make it about the luxurious places that we'll stay at and all of that. I really want to experience things. I want to feel things. And that's what this holiday has done for me. I feel like in a short space of time, in the past few days, 
God has restored my love for writing. God has restored there's this feeling that you have as a writer, as a creator. There's this feeling, there's this I, I believe it's a gift that you don't just get from anywhere and everywhere. And I felt like for the longest time I had lost it. And God was like, mm -mm, no, baby, I got you. I I got you. I'm going to take you to a place where I'll remind you that I've called you to write. I've called you to create. I've called you to speak. I've called you to manifest my glory. And that's what this has been. We are at Nuka Spa. I am in the waiting area. Super, super amazing. We are going to get our massages as we overlook the river. So Nuka means river. As we overlook the river, we're going to get our massages done. Ah, I'm such a small town girl at heart. I really love small towns. I really love how this town has heart and soul. And I just wanted to encourage you guys. Like, my mic actually cut me off, but that's fine. I was saying that, like, I encourage you guys to get out of your normal, basically. I'm not saying travel because traveling is honestly expensive. It's not the cheapest thing to do. But all I'm saying is that you know go to the local park go to you know somewhere where you're just not in the fastness of everyday life i know that for the longest time i was like chasing 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 and right now god has slowed down my pace i'm more i'm more in tune with self, in tune with God. And honestly, I love the pace that God is moving me at. Listen, I'm not saying that I'm not going to pursue my career. I'm not saying that I'm not going to do the things that I love. I'm, like I said, I'm an arts and crafty person. This town has reminded me that because I thought I had lost that in grade four. I love DIY. I love reading. I love old books. I love the smell of old books. Those little things that I thought I had lost in primary school, God brought me here and he said, I'm going to restore all those things because that's who you are in your essence. That's who I've called you to be, if not more. There are other things that I do, but in, at the core of who I am, this is what I love. And it took me getting out of the busyness and the chasing and the wanting to be, you know, the center of attention and doing a career where everyone is applauding you and all those things. And all of that feel like near nothings, you know. So, guys... Please just find that little thing that you do that makes your heart happy. Be it traveling, be it walking, be it doing whatever. Listen, I'm not like a wellness guru or whatever, but it really helps. It really does something to your soul. It does something to your spirit, man, and to who you are physically, you know? So, yeah, guys, I really don't want this vacation to end. It was such an experience. It's an experience absolutely loved everything about it and even the places where we wanted to go and maybe they were closed on the day or they could not take us in or whatever god felt it felt like god was redirecting us because we'd always find a place in the area that was much better like with the animal farm um the lion and predator park we were not even meant to go there we were going to another farm it's not really a farm it's like a restaurant tiny little restaurant with like friendly friendly animals like you know horses and all of that we wanted to go there and as we passed there's like oh there's a lion park oh that sounds interesting and when we got there they were like yeah we're close today for stock taking and then we went to check at the lion park and we felt like god was redirecting us that the lion park is going to be a much better experience than the other farm because that farm was tiny it was on the road it's busy it wasn't it wasn't from the outside 